We haven't actually been recording yet. We've just been sort oh, of okay. idling chit chat and uh, sort oh, okay. of a, a polite uh, small talk. I, yes. I, ju- I, I will I just start recording. Then. It, uh, I <laughs> jumped in about it being a difficult year, and I thought you were going, nah. but uh, yeah. we're just we're just making a uh, tiny talk, which is like small talk, tiny, tiny but not teams. as big. Yeah, tiny, yeah. Tiny, tiny, talk, tiny talk, minuscule chatter. I do an adventure. Come and join the fun. Tiny talk with worthless people. La, 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 wow. la, 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 la. <laughs> okay, we should just go then, shall we? <laughs> yeah, fucking rude. That was a good song. <laughs> Tiny talk with worthless people. Oh. La, 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 la. Here's the what, church and here's the steeple. Then, uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. Here's what, the vicar, here's the choir boy. Else. La, 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 la. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't know what's going on what's anymore. to say by worthless, I meant anyone else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm confused now. <laughs> Take much for me to be confused. Uh, People wow. generally are around me. <laughs> <laughs> On that right. glory. I think I can't stay very long today. Yes. Because I got to uh, do something later on when Amy gets back, which she should be back in probably about 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, you've got to break free. Um, so, in that case, let's get started. Should we just get straight into it? Let's get straight into yeah. it. That's the noise that get into Wait, hang on. Even my sound effects are Doctor Who related without realizing. So let's look at. We're back, by the way. Hello, welcome back to Nordic World Podcast. So last year was the year 2000. Not much has changed. We lived underwater, as previously discussed. We only well, we had didn't, because it was a thousand years too early. Oh, of course, the damn guidance systems are off, off the, ah. off the blop again. What's the, the phrase is? The we TARDIS landed inside ourselves again. <laughs> landed inside the TARDIS. Rich, what again. have you touched? We're we, we're inside ourselves Whoa. again. Uh, as you all remember, if you <laughs> watched the stream and you were there, I left my doors open again, didn't yeah. I? Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this time, yeah, the first time you landed inside yourself. <laughs> because I left my doors open. Uh, anyway, okay. Yeah, oh, that's why that happened. Like the like the box containing the universe in Futurama. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so last year we only had three options because uh, there was some overlap. I think like oh. we all had the same top three or something like that, or they, we all had the same. <laughs> yeah. You know, they were, they were all very very similar lists. So we had the Emperor's New Groove, Digimon t- movie, and the Chicken movie. Run. Chicken Run. So in, in exactly <laughs> in third place with fourteen percent. Uh, mm. Was Digimon the movie? Nah. But, this year on a which is weird considering your out. audience, Christian. You'd think that there would be a lot more. Why do you four fans like Digimon? <laughs> Not according to my viewing Touché. figures, they don't. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> um, uh, all your Digimon World fans would have yeah. joined in. Well, me and Austin can't The reason can we still do Digimon <laughs> is because we've been doing it for so long now, there's no other. There's no other you've become, reason. You've become no stuck home to it. Yeah. yeah. We don't have a choice. It has to be done by this point. You yeah. don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> After the first anyway. five years, there is no going back. <laughs> <laughs> it is just the mon. It, it, the dementia has set in permanently. There is no cure. It's all Ogremon now. the Digimenta. <laughs> Digimenta. Digi- Digi- Digimenta? Digidementia. Digidementia, there you go. The yeah. golden Digidementia. <laughs> Digidimensional. <laughs> Sometimes trying to put oh. my entire word together just doesn't work. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, anyway. So in, se- in second place, with 19% was Chicken Run. So uh, I have okay. to say, I was very surprised by how far ahead this one was, considering <laughs> the competition, uh, which was The Emperor's New Groove with 67%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's, such a quote, it's such a quotable film. Oh, I have to inform you, Alex, that because you weren't here, I stole your choice, so that's my victory. Ah, uh, <laughs> what? Sucker. <laughs> that's not fair. Sure, you should both get a point. For yeah, that. at least both of us. Or half a point each. Oh, oh I'm still getting to decimal systems. Yeah. <laughs> yes, what, that's that, um, what was the percentage of that one? Decimal, uh, 67%. Nice. To two thirds of people who voted uh, liked that one. So, yeah. Ooh. Good it's choice. such a quotable film, though, it's, isn't it? Like, it's, it's a so great good. Film, really. yeah. <laughs> Is that like the biggest curve we've had in terms of like percentage or like the the, the most percentage for the winner? The you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, no, 
1996, Independence Day got 77%. Oh, okay. So to to Doctor Who in the second place had 13. (laughs) Oh, even Ah, bigger. How many were in that year? Was it three or was it four? Four. 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 So, te- so which is actually the bigger percentage? So, um, well, over hang on, four, stop talking. Stop talking. Three. Stop talking. <laughs> the one in fourth Sorry, place. Sorry, sir. The ones in third and fourth place both got five percent. So, actually, Doctor Who, even if one of them had been eliminated, the most Doctor Who could have got was eighteen percent. So, it's still a bigger, uh, still a bigger <coughs> gap. Um, hmm. There was a bigger gap though, actually, in nineteen ninety one, where hmm. the second place was Beauty and the Beast with twenty, and first place was Adam's oh. Family with eighty. Christian here from the future. That isn't a bigger gap at all. What the hell am I talking about? There we go. Big gap. Mm. The maths hour there. Kind of, I can't get into like the full on statistics of it. Like which one actually had the higher percentage? Eighty. So is they had, than yeah, they had four versus one with three. Yeah, but I've explained. <laughs> it would still be it would still be bigger because the gap was still bigger even if you eliminated the last place one. Yeah, but twenty percent of five is not the same as twenty percent of three, is it? Uh, but there was there was there was four in that year when there was twenty. We're talking about different years, I think. Yeah, but I'm talking about last year where it was only yeah. three people. Yeah. So sixty percent out of three is not the same amount as seventy percent out of four, is it? No, but. <laughs> but are there? So uh, I the want gap, to know like the, the gap. Like, the gap which could one only have, more. The gap could not have shrunk. If there was only three choices, I'm not interested about the gap. <laughs> I, I want to know, like, what, like, relative to each other, which was bigger. Um, to am be honest, I, am I am I being the stupid one here? I don't think I am. You've completely lost. I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, Let's so, move on. I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll rant about that when we've got time. <laughs> unfortunately, I think that's all we've got time for. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. <paper. laughs> So this year is 2001. Ah, we survived. We survived the bug, though. Yes. Uh, oh no, not- this, this is just a trailer. What are you want about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real yeah. shit's gonna go down next year. What 002? Yeah. <laughs> what happened in 2002? 2002. Um, uh, do, you I, do you mind if I go first? Just because I got to go soon. Yeah, yeah that's why I was gonna. Yeah, oh, okay. suggest. I have a shit ton of honorable mentions. So oh, this is yeah, fun. this is a hefty year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Uh, in a particular order for my honorable mentions is a uh, Monsters Inc. Hooray! Yep. Uh, thir- Thirteen Ghosts. That's in my honorable mentions. Sure, yeah. that one. Good film. Good film. Uh, Donnie Darker. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rat Race. Hey. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> the Princess Diaries. Yep. Uh, Lady, in the, Lady in the Tramp 2, only because I watched it a shit ton as a kid. Oh, didn't it? There was a two. Is it about their messy it relationship? <laughs> <laughs> it's about, it's about their, their, one, of their, one of their sons. Ah, uh, uh, Save the Last Dance. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Ooh. Uh, Legally Blonde. Yep. Uh, Bridget Jones' Diary and Scary Movie 2. Mm-hmm. And your cool. winner? Uh, Oh, no, that's, that's, that's just my own dimensions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so, so my top five. Uh, a Knight's Tale. Yay. Uh, yeah. uh, Shrek. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Moulin Rouge, just because... Yep. Oh, you know. Is that, that's, that's the one about the um, the Chinese lady who becomes a, a soldier, isn't it, to fight the... the, the Mongols Sorry, what? <laughs> Moulin. Moulin Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, it's when it's the one where everyone can maybe sings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. M- Mulan Rouge is the darker live action version of Mulan where everyone dies at the end. Yeah, yeah the ru- Rouge is the blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Zoolander. Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. Wait, five, four. Mulan. Sorry, Zoolan number Rouge. three is Zoolander. Number uh, two is Atlantis. Lost uh, Empire. Yeah, such an like underrated film. Honorable. It's been so long since I've seen it that I got to show it in the honorable mention. Really I know I loved it as a kid. Definitely um, much more quotable than I remembered it, but it was a great film. And my number one is Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Excellent uh, choice. Yeah. Okay. Guess okay. what mine is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I might have to steal your choice again. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. The reason no. you could steal it was because he wasn't here last week. <laughs> yeah, I'm here this time, so it's mine. Yeah, you can steal it from him again. It's um, it's it's uh, it's like a prison sentence. <laughs> it lasts for a, for a few episodes. <laughs> Why can't you just both get the point? I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, our our personal points don't really mean much by the end. It's more what I film. Mean, are you familiar with the concept of this? <laughs> And also, you're the guys arguing about a joke. <laughs> Jesus, come on. God's <laughs> <laughs> sake. Right. What was that? That was, um... That was Russell. He lives in the okay. wires. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who's next? <laughs> um, well, Ooh. I'll go next, because I've just told you what my first one is. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so, honourable mentions... Please try and contain your, uh, your, your, uh, whatever the word is, tenseness. What's the word? Anticipation. Um, so honorable mentions, evolution, uh, AI, artificial intelligence, or one, or one word, uh, a beautiful mind. Oh uh, yeah. I forgot about that one. That was a good film. That's a good film. I've only seen it like once, I think, but it was good. Uh, and Donnie Darko. Which again, I think uh, I've only seen once. Um, and also on there is uh, a film that I don't really think is one that I like very much, but I watched it once when I was in year six and I've always remembered really weird specific things about it. And recently I found out what it was called, which is Max Keeble's Big Move, uh, which is the you one where that. That I, I mentioned from time to time <laughs> yeah. about the, the yeah. bully who has a, his dad owns a t-shirt shop. And so he writes the name of the kid he's going to bully that week on his t-shirt. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> Odd concept. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so the list, uh, the list in number six <laughs> is Spy Kids. Ah. Uh, yeah. In it's number five movie. is Pokemon 3, the movie, which is a weird title. Ah, uh, Curse of the Unknown Tower. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, really like, I think that's probably my favourite of the, uh, the Pokemon movies that I've seen. It's very good. Yeah. Um, where are we at? Four, Shrek. Yeah. Uh, three, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> the Philosopher's <laughs> Stone. We are British. <laughs> Philosopher's Stone. I think I've just killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Christian. Nope. Yeah, you killed Ozzy. He's dead. Uh, he I mean, he given the unnatural circumstances of his death, the only way we can bring him back is a sorcerer, quite ironically. <laughs> 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 um, you know, Lungo so Reparo. I regenerated. I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Harry Potter. Oh, and the shit, that wasn't thing. there before. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, number two, Monsters Inc. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're Monsters Incorporated. And number one, Lord of the Rings: The Fellowship of T the Ring. Yeah. I which nice. is which is a great film. And I recently, like, I read the books and I was like fourteen or something. And I, I recently to read books. I, re I read them again last year. They are really, 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 really fucking good books. Not just like yeah. as a Lord of the Rings fan. They are genuine. They're just really fucking good books. He was a very talented writer. Who knew? See, the, th <laughs> the, the problem I have is that it, it always feels like they're just so bulky. You know, yeah, I, I think it's kind of like the romanticized style, mm. the romanticized way of writing in it that kind of puts me off a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Is there, there's a lot of lore in there. In the get, yeah, that's also another thing that puts me off. It's like trying to start like reading Marvel or DC comics. I think, it's like, where the hell do you start? Mm, I mean, I probably think, with The Hobbit, to be fair. Well, don't, but. don't start with yeah, yeah. I start I started with The Hobbit. Don't read Don't read the Silmarillion unless you're a mega fan because it's that's the mythology stuff. I have I, that on my shelf. I don't know why I have it on my shelf. But I, I do love it. I love the Silmarillion, and like whenever people see me reading it, they go, "Oh, it's a bit tough." That and it was like bloody Bible on that, and then you know, there's like one paragraph that's like that. And I always say, "But I'm a massive fan of this series, so I find and I like mythology in the real world as well a, a lot. Mm. So this is mythology of a fantasy world that I love." I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you yeah. knowing stuff about Silmarillion is very similar to some of these people knowing a lot about a football team, for example. Yeah, some yeah. of these people that are football fans. <laughs> like, just because our passions are different doesn't mean that the level of passion is, is different as well. Mm. Mm, like, exactly. my knowledge of Star Wars and Pokemon and things like that are just as comparable to some people's enjoyment of 
football and sports and things yeah. like that. And it's just like, you know, why are, why is one of these considered good and one of these considered bad? Exactly. I mean, people, when you see somebody walking things. down the shirt, when you see when you see somebody walking down the street in a, in a football <laughs> player's shirt, shirt, you are cosplaying <laughs> as that footballer. Yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah. Have you ever seen a full a full kit wanker? <laughs> It's usually the kids doing that, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, kids are allowed. Wearing the full kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> anyway, but yeah, the books are fucking amazing. Yeah. Huge recommend. I, I might have to give them a try, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need so to watch. Uh, once I've finished the KJ trilogy, quadrilogy, go on to it. I, I need to re- regain a... F- I've got the first book. I just need to read it. Ah, they're fucking amazing as well. <laughs> I know, I need, to, I need to get around to it. Of what? Uh, Game of Thrones. I need to actually start reading the books. Yeah, they are very good. They are, they are, they are hefty. Not Clash, Clash of Kings. Oh my god, Clash of Kings nearly killed my enjoyment for the franchise. <laughs> really? What is it? Is Bra- it Brand's or? chapters are mm. such a slog. Uh, can I just skip them? I don't really care about. No, you can't skip I mean, anything. <laughs> it's the law. Uh, the thing is, like everything's important the book, in these look, in these books. That's the-, the thing is, like a lot of a Game of Thrones, the first book, is in season one of the show. Okay. Like, I reckon you'll be able to go through Game of Thrones rather quickly because you will be remembering it from the show while you're reading it. Yeah, yes. that's the kind of reason why I want to do that. Yeah. I was yeah. just how they, how Kings, they but you can't, can't, but yeah. you can't skip it because no, God, no. It it so starts thing. It starts storylines and introduces characters and stuff that aren't in the yeah, show. Yeah, there is we'll a come whole back later. lot of things. Yeah. The it's, it's quite interesting, like watching the diversion of the show and the and the books as you read the books. It's like, oh well, that wasn't in it. Oh, that's going to come back. Oh, that's cut. That's a big plot point they've cut out. Oh, I wonder. How, oh, okay, they're doing that instead. So okay, they're just not going to mention yeah. this character at all. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, and now that character's dead. Fantastic. <laughs> cool. Oh. Glad to know that's why they cut them out of the show. Yeah. So what you can do, you know is... exactly who I mean, don't you, Christian? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I have a few characters like that, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking of. Oh, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So you can read The Hobbit, then the The Lord of the Rings, then all of A Song of Ice and Fire, and then you can get started on the Wheel of Time. And then by the time Oof. you've read all those fifty books, the series will be out on Amazon Prime, and you can watch that too. And uh, like awesome. Marvel, maybe, that, just maybe Winter Winter, Winter will be out. Oh awesome. yeah, maybe <laughs> the Wheel of Time is that Georgia. No, no, no. Wheel of Time is a completely separate series. Robert Jordan. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. It's... Amy's home. Oh. Uh, uh, Alright. I'm around to get going in a bit. Does that mean you're going? Oh. Uh, not, not just yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, so yours was Lord of the Rings. Should I just quickly do mine? Or yeah. Oz, do you want to do yours? Uh, well, anyone. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind. I've I've got quite a few honourable mentions as well. So, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do you want to just should we just like skip through them quite quickly then? That, that, I was literally just gonna mention yep, go them. For it. And then, go for it, yeah. go for it. Okay, Jeepers Creepers, Pokemon <laughs> Free, the movie. Monkey Bone, Jay oh, and Silent one. Bob Strike Back. Monkey Bone, it's a good one. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Jimmy Neutron, Evolution, and God, Monsters out. Inc. Mm-hmm. Mon- Monster Sink. Nice. And then Wait, my list so, oh, okay. is. <laughs> oh, well, the monster sink. Yeah, I know. I, I live. I didn't know whether that was your your winner or your honourable mentions. No, but it's it no, is clear that was now. The honourable mentions. Honourable mentions. Yeah. <laughs> number five, Shrek. Ah. Number four, The Mummy Two: The Mummy Returns. Oh. Yep. Number three, Osmosis <laughs> Jones. I knew uh, that was going to be on your list. <laughs> Freaking knew that. Now <laughs> this is where I'm stuck because I can't decide between number two and number one. You've had number two already, Rings. haven't you? So. No, I'm... I, no, <laughs> no, 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 it's no, it's not a Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> I'm nothing wrong with Lord of the Rings, but of all the big fandoms, that's probably the least... Fair the enough. one I got into, the least. I, I probably know more about Star Wars than I do Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, I managed to get Amy into it quite recently, either. Like, she kept falling asleep during the first film. And I was like, you need to stay awake and watch it. And then she, and now she loves it. So uh, okay. <laughs> That's a good advert, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you will enjoy this. <laughs> um, oh. oh, fuck. Sorry, um, carry on. <laughs> if you had to watch um, one of these films right now, which one would it be? What are they? That's why I'm stuck. What are, oh, they, what are both of okay. them? Okay, no, okay. One of them... Act meant a bit more to me in my childhood. So that, okay. Number two is Spy Kids. Mm-hmm. Yep. And number one is Harry Potter. Ah, uh, yeah. 
because yeah. up until about the age of 13, I was obsessed with Harry Potter. I, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my school what uniform mean, for years five and six of primary school was a Hogwarts robe. I think it's fair <laughs> to say up until 2005, you were a Potterhead, weren't you? Yes, yeah, Potterhead. and I, I've sort of been weaned back in, but not to the extent I used to be. You still are, yeah, well, not to that extent, but yeah, you kind of got back into it anyway. Yeah, I, I, I sort of, but it was when I got into Doctor Who, really. I got into that's Doctor why Who, I meant, and that's that, why I said 2005. <laughs> that became my thing, and it's only recently that I sort of relived Harry Potter again. I never For stopped Doctor liking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? It's because it's because Doctor Who's crap now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've started this. Anyway. I'll come back to that later. Hang on. Yeah, <laughs> carry on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, right. just just yeah. my year seven timetable. I converted into a Hogwarts timetable. I remember that. Into <laughs> classes into Hogwarts ones. I remember English was charms, science was potions. P was obviously Quidditch. I can't remember. The rest. <laughs> a lot of people complain. Oh, Hogwarts doesn't have all the basic things like that. No, because Hogwarts is a secondary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've already it's not learned a it. primary school. You don't go there until you're what eleven. Yeah, but what school? Yeah, you, what school do you go to? Because every school, every secondary school had the basics like maths and. Shit yeah, like but it, they're homeschooled, aren't they? Before yeah. then. Oh like, no! Or do you understand go... that it's a secondary school? Rich, uh, Rich is talking about within the. The Within the, ha- Harry, the Harry Potter, Potter universe, uh, yeah. okay, yeah, I get what you mean. Also, yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. the Wizarding world, you don't need to learn the stuff that we learn in secondary school to the same extent. No. Like homeschool yeah. and primary school is enough, really, because you don't need yeah, to. Yeah, like they don't, they don't need maths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've you I realised something about the Wizarding world recently, which was that because um, wizards can do magic without a wand, that's like happens Some to Harry. Can. That's that happens yeah, to Harry. Yeah, they like, can. Ones can. So like Hermione you can. How mm. strong they so, are, sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. I kind of realised that because they have like the trace on the wands and things like that, that's like it's like a, a magical ID card, really, kind of thing. So that so that the, they can control the what Pokedex. magic people do and where. <laughs> so that we don't have people running around willy nilly casting spells that mm. are not yeah. regulated. They get given a wand and told, "This is how you do magic with these specific rules," and that's mm. how they. That's how the wizarding world doesn't immediately collapse into a load of wizards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I have a little little uh, moment. <laughs> anyway, <Little lonely. laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So my list. So uh, at the bottom, uh, honorable mentions first: Spy Kids, uh, mm. Pokemon Three, Memento. Ah. Can't believe ah. nobody else said Memento. Memento. Is it worth remembering? Ha 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 ha. Absolutely I, incredible film. I know. Done, in, done backwards. I, I think they, they showed it in our uni class, but I was ill on that day. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, still, it, it's, it's shown in reverse, but if you actually mm. watch it forwards, it's terrible. Really? Um, <laughs> it sucks going forwards. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Um, because mm. it's a special option on the DVD. It's quite interesting. Um, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, Monsters, Inc. Uh. Harry Potter, Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. Uh, Shrek. Uh, Mummy Returns as my... Yeah. Uh, Honorable mentions. There's a there's a wonderful bit at the end of Mummy Returns where like the Scorpion King's been stabbed and then Imhotep just runs in just like no, because <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's almost yeah. like it wasn't planned. It was just like yeah, he was, he just wanted to be in one more scene, so he just ran in and just <laughs> improv it. Cause it happens like a like good two or three seconds after he gets stabbed. It's absolutely, I do love those films. Those oh. two films, <laughs> like the Mummy is incredible. The Mummy yeah. Returns is. Good. Never so saw Team of the Dragon Emperor. When I was put my list together, I, I was sat, I was sat there thinking, have I seen this film? I can't really remember. I think I may have, but I I don't really remember whether I have or not. <laughs> now you see, like... I think I remember the second one more because between it they'd had the animated series and introduced the sun. Oh yeah. And then they had the sun in the second yes. film. Yes. Ah, right, and right. I'd watched the animated series. Oh, the animated series. Oh my god, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I, remember, quite, I, remember I quite intro. enjoyed that. Yeah. So I always remembered the second one more just because they had a son who had a manacle that did magic stuff. It wasn't the exact same yeah. manacle, mm. but. I mean, it, they kind of loosely bracelet. taken the idea. Because he, he gets the bracelet in The Mummy Returns. 
Well, you get uh, it's a different one in the animated yeah, series. Happens yeah, again. You wait ages yeah. for a magic yeah. bracelet, and then <laughs> two come along at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, like... Sorry, it's also Dwayne Johnson's first ever film. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, he oh, plays okay. the Scorpion King. It was his first. I know. Ever well, film. I know. Yeah, oh. I didn't know it was his first one though. Mr. Yeah. Okay. Fair play. And I remember um, it's weird because I've never seen any of the films, but I remember I was, like loving the series as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Good old Dwayne the Good old Rock the Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rock the Dwayne, uh, don't so rock my, the Dwayne my, baby. <laughs> my, my actual list, top five. Wow. Number five, Fellowship of the Ring, Lord of the Ring. Yeah. Uh, number four, Ocean's Eleven. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I adore like heist films. <laughs> uh, Ocean's seen, Eleven is so good. Have you seen the Rick and Morty episode about heists? I haven't. Is that in season four? Yes. I have not seen it then. Okay. It was very good. I will have to watch it. I, I, I will watch Rick and Morty again soon. I really will. It's on my list along with The Witcher and things like that. Uh, uh, number three is well. Atlantis The Long Lost Empire. Uh, yeah. I absolutely adore that film because it's got Michael J. Fox as the lead. Uh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. love the quotes in it as well. Yeah, he's like, James we Garner, Lennon Nimoy. He's like, we didn't, hurt, we didn't hurt anyone. Well, we heard a few people, but no one we knew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. Yeah. So good. So good. Uh, Number two, Moulin Rouge. Really? I, I, I didn't know you like Moulin Rouge. I adore Moulin Rouge. I would not have I didn't Moulin. think you were like, I don't know why. I didn't never thought you were a big fan of musicals. I don't know why, though. Hello, Alex. My name's Richard. Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> My you bad. adore musicals, dude. Yay. Like, I, I remember in music camp one year, um, we we learned some of the music to Moulin Rouge. We learned like a melody for, a medley from it, and since the then I've moves. just absolutely adored it. It's you, McGregor. No, I know. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant, dude. Obi Wan can sing, man. <laughs> he uh, can sing, and he's gorgeous whilst yeah. he does it. Oh, it's so, it's such a good film. I absolutely adore it. However, oh. my number one film of two thousand one, and quite possibly in my top five I'm, favorites oh, yeah. of all time, Ooh. is A Knight's Tale. Yep. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. She has so, number one. The, the way that I like to describe this to my friends, this film, is uh, think of it this way Robert Baratheon, K2SO, and Vision teach the Joker how to ride a horse. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got Robert Baratheon, who is Mark Addy, mm -hmm. K2SO, Alan Tudyk, Vision, which is Geoffrey Chaucer. Uh, sorry, now that's the character's name. It is fucking what's it, uh, Paul Bettany. Teach the Joker, which is Heath Ledger, how to ride a horse. That is the basic setup of that film. Hmm. And oh my god, it is it's it's funny, it's moving, it's brilliantly shot, it's beautifully done, it's a really good story, and it is just Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> very good, very quotable as well. Oh, it's so quotable. It's called I the will on you. Hello. <laughs> Oh, it's so good, so so good. I highly recommend everyone to go and watch it. Just the just the good the good vibes you get from it. Mm. It's just so good, and it's yeah, really is like a, a classic rags to riches story. And it's, it's I think it's one of Cat's favorite films as well. Like she showed it to me when I was a kid. <laughs> but, it's got like contemporary music, but in the context of the time. So that they used like "We Will Rock You." but only in the sense of it's the feeling that we get from that is the sort of feeling that the people in that time would get from their music. If that makes any sense. Mm. Mm. So it's like the way we feel about We Will Rock You is how these people felt about their amp up and hype up song. It's, it's genius. I love it. I could sing this prank films praises for hours, but I shan't because we don't have that long. I think you ever think of that, to be honest. <laughs> it seems more just like they wanted to put We Will Rock You in the film. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and they, 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 yeah, but it also works in the film. It, it does. Yeah. It makes sense. It works. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. um, I, was, I was just reading it's based on uh, The Knight's Tale from the Canterbury Tales. So, I mean, I've already yeah. read the, uh, the source uh, material. So, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a book broker. It'd be interesting so, uh, to see how it compares to your opinion. Uh, I will not be watching this film. Ah. So <laughs> I do need to go now. But, um, Cool. Yes, thank you. Right. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you. Uh, yes. Bye bye. Sorry, I have to rush off. Yeah. So I did it two weeks ago, three okay. weeks ago, a time ago. <laughs> yeah. right, well, I'll see, speak to you guys soon. Okay, dokie. Right. Uh, see you later. Bye. See you later, bye. See you later <laughs> baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>
Right, he's gone. Now we can talk about him behind his back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know we're going to make him listen to this now, right? <laughs> um, right, I haven't been keeping track of what our winners were. Uh, we uh, had mine was Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, nice Knight's Tale. Tale. Um, hey, I'm, I'm going to stick Monsters Inc. in there as well for fun, <laughs> for fun and profit. Was that was that your number two? Yes. Your number new? Yes. Oh, so you're <laughs> saying that Monsters Inc. is your vote? Okay, cool. So if Lord of the Rings wins, then Alex wins. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh cool. shit! We've we've kind of got like the two fandoms against each other this year. This year. Yeah. Harry Potter, Harry Potter Lord of the versus Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what the pi- the what was like the pixel posse? The pixel posse. <laughs> the pixel posse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Potterheads. The what do you call Lord of the Rings? Um, oh, fans. Ring ring jobs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring jobs. All right. There's the Potterheads, the ring jobs, <laughs> and the Pixar posse, and then the. Uh, Knights Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me think of the um the like the car park fight from uh, Anchorman. Where <laughs> <laughs> uh, did mean, you get a hand grenade? One I side's got know. Gandalf. I mean, they're gonna fucking win, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and the other side has Dumbledore. But Gandalf's a uh, an immortal spirit from before the creation of the world. I think he'll win. <laughs> But Dumbledore's a manip- manipulative bastard who will turn the tides oh, of that's true, yeah. whoever votes. He'll get someone to he's, kill him and then he'll he's win. He's got this whole thing plotted out already. He's been plotting it since we started 1990. <laughs> so, you can't win, by that logic, If you strike me down, I'll become of, more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> so this sort of old man sort of preparing well, this old deranged man, let's be fair, <laughs> forcing <laughs> children to fight for him and planning several steps in the fight. Is Dumbledore like, just fantasy Batman? <laughs> wait, what? Dumbledore's wait, wait, just on. wizard Batman. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I was, oh, I sorry, I thought you said funny. Clearly Deranged dresses about... up like a bat. The yeah. Yeah. Deranged old probably. man making kids, compared to him, fight for him. Yeah. That's, and like, that's, that could these... be either of them. <laughs> yeah, and like, it's a sort of... <laughs> planning several hundred steps in a fight. There's a reason it's called a Batman Gambit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know... Anyway, Gat, sorry. Gat I, get, I get passionate about nerd stuff. We've never now, those are books. I've been <laughs> recommending books to other people. I need to reread uh-huh. the uh, Harry Potter books. Mm. But I, I don't I, I, I don't know whether they're be- they're buried somewhere um, or whether I gave I them away. Because I've, I've, got, I've got Azkaban. That's it. I had all oh. of them. I don't you know say- where they are. <laughs> oh, so you say that like it's a bad thing. No, no. I, I, I really enjoy I Well, I'm, I'm still on... Half blood at the moment, yeah, but quite frankly, I don't think there's anything wrong with listening to audiobooks. No, no. well, <laughs> you hear fine. us big, bigging up the big finish all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's different. That's radio I play. I know you. You just get the the elitist of the written word. Yeah, <laughs> I will I, say, I don't get why. I don't You're like listening to audiobooks. Personally, that's personal why preference. Not? I just don't. I don't. When I when I read. I feel like I take it in, I don't know, I, I don't get, like, I enjoy reading, but I don't feel the same when I listen to a book than I, as I do when I read it. Uh, yeah. This is what I'm saying, However, it's just preference. I think it's, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, but, I'm a pretty yeah. slow reader, so it takes me twice exactly. as long to get through a book as it would to get through an audio book. Mm. Mm. I could listen I tend, to I Harry Potter, no, for, I could just listen to one of them in like two, three days, whereas a book would take me a month or two. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I tend, I, I tend to uh, of... like re reread sections as like you know go over bits mm. again and like uh, okay. it. Sometimes I just like sit and think about it for a bit. I don't know. I I think I like listening to Big Finish. Listening to podcasts is a different thing if, yeah. for me yeah. than reading. Like yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. It's just I just don't, I just don't understand the people who say that oh audiobooks aren't really books. I mean I I get that, but they think of it as like. A bad, not a real way of consuming media. And it's just mm. like, like Ozzy's a perfect example, right? You know, like <laughs> you, you take a while to read books, and that's absolutely fine. You know, nothing nobody's forcing yeah, you to read them. I think, I, but you're I still think experiencing like, it the same. Dyslexic in a way as well. Yeah. So for people, I've never been officially diagnosed, but I'm shit at spelling, <laughs> and 
it takes me ages to read stuff. And I find myself having to reread stuff because I didn't take it in the first time. Yeah. Whereas if I'm listening to it as an audiobook, I kind of take it in easier. Yeah. On the opposite. It's different yeah. strokes for yeah. different folks. So it is it is really depending on the person, yeah. Yeah. I just don't <laughs> like people who are all high and mighty about something. The holier anyway. than thou attitude. Big finish anyway. news. <laughs> Big finish update. Okay. It's not news, it's, it's just an update. Uh, it's because okay. um, we've got between us the first 100 monthly adventure stories. Yeah. So I've, uh, I've been downloading them onto my, onto my phone. Plus more um, as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I'm, onto, I'm onto number four at the moment. I'm halfway through uh, The Land of the Dead, starring, starring Peter Davison and Sarah Sutton. <laughs> which um, one, I'm sorry? Uh, Land of the Dead. Which oh, is, I haven't listened to it. Okay, it's yeah. the the fourth one in the monthly adventures. So I'm, yeah, I'm is, very you... slowly working through it. When I run out of podcasts, I stick on an audio audio play. Okay, <laughs> but you're doing them in order of release, are you? Yeah. Okay, so I did that in a way, but I did it dependent on Doctor. Yeah. So hmm. I just sort of chose a Doctor and then listened to theirs in order of release. So I went through all the Seventh Doctors first, then the Sixth Doctors. And then the f- fifth Doctor ones, but mainly the ones where it was with that set of companions. Yeah. So there's a couple of the fifth Doctor ones where you've got the random... It's not like random companions, but you get a random one with Nyssa or you get a random one with Turlo. Yeah. And then you'll go back to their ongoing story with Tegan and Eminem and Eminem and Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Eminem? Slim, Slim Shady. Doctor? Em- M M and M, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real slim, no. <laughs> it's I, uh, it, I think it's like Aeronym or so. Er, I can't quite pronounce it. Are they in the TV show? Er, uh, no, she's she's an audio exclusive one. She's like an Egyptian uh, princess. She's a creature made of sound. Um, yeah, no, I, I decided it what? was. Rather than um, it was a dog too big finish reference. Actually, Richard, you would understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I decided um, it would be easier for my sanity to just listen to them in release order <laughs> one two three four because i thought otherwise i'll be here forever trying to decide which series i go with and all that and trying to figure it out <laughs> yeah because like the i listened to, i've listened to the eighth doctor ones already and they were in a very clear order um mm. but i know you'd mentioned before ozzy that it kind of jumps around it, like like you just said then yeah, yeah i thought i'll just listen to them in order that'd do i'll listen to some <laughs> of the eighth doctor ones again that i remember i liked and but i'll just skip over them for the main i think in the main for the most part for the main post. Yeah, I think I, like, because I started with Seventh Doctor and Ace just because they're my favourite classic duo. Yeah. And then after that, I wanted to listen to all the Evelyn ones. Yeah. That's why I moved on to the Sixth Doctor and just went through all the ones with him and Evelyn. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the Evelyn ones. I'm, yeah. She, I, she was good in uh, Jubilee, which is the only one I've heard her in. Uh, was, the, she in so, was she in someone else? The, right. Yeah, um, <laughs> she might have popped up as a different character. Yeah, the Grace was tricky because they had <laughs> everyone was in it, but Hang not on. as themselves. The yeah. Gray, uh, yeah. Oh God, it's just giving me Greek mythology. Oh, uh, the Grayus Doctor. <laughs> doctor who? Doctor who? <laughs> Um, you can't run cast. from it, Doctor. So I don't where they put that bowling in the... Colin Baker, I've been watching a load of, uh, well, a few videos on YouTube just, like, slagging off Doctor Who recently. Yeah. <laughs> just, I don't know why, it just seems to be recommended to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, she, she was the great mother. Ah, okay. One of the Time Lords, I think. Your mum was so great. <laughs> she found the Time Lord Civilization. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, uh, aren't we all hilarious <laughs> no <laughs> one one i mean it's been released now but i i still need to get it because i need to wait till i get more money but um missy series 2 is out and i really want to get ah. that <laughs> That, that's my <laughs> audiobook update. Oh, but I have got in a different update. Oh, our billium update of the week. Oh yes, the billium section. The billium the section. He, he's flashed back to 
Angela Anaconda. Oh my god, I'll have to watch that. Yeah, and obviously it's got its mentions within the Digimon movie. Yeah. It's canon in Digimon. It, uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah, although it, I've like, not even subscribed to him. What's this all about? Let's subscribe to him. Oh again. no. <laughs> But yeah, Angela Anaconda is canon within Digimon, but Digimon oh. got retconned out of Angela Anaconda. Oh. Because they took the footage from the Digimon movie, built an episode around it, but removed all the re- references from Digimon. <laughs> huh. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess they were okay. pretty, I mean, it seems uh, like they were making it cheaply, so I guess they were trying to save money <laughs> yeah. wherever they could. <laughs> but yeah, that... that um. Actually, that's something I need to look up because it was mentioned in the Billion video. Uh, oh, Digimon Angela Adventure. Um, no. Uh, I did. Um, I, I did find uh, out when that was going to be released in English. Actually, and I've forgotten. This is the sound of googling. This is the voice of Light City. Uh, where is it? Uh, there was like reboot titles. Which I've heard a lot of recently because I've been playing Lego Dimensions. Ah, Lego Dimensions. <laughs> and every time Superman flies, that theme plays. <laughs> Literally every time he takes off and it oh. plays constantly if you flow with wonder woman it plays her theme <laughs> wonder woman! you know the one no i don't i don't know well <coughs> uh, first here's eminem um <laughs> and, and, the, like, the world world. <laughs> and then they were on Eminem. about doing like uh i don't know if it's still going through but a reboot of Angela oh. Anaconda. Oh, See, right. like, this was the thing that I never really watched because it was on Cartoon <laughs> Network and I never had Cartoon Network. As it I was thought. Fox Kids. Well, whatever it was, I never <laughs> had it. That just shows you how much I li- how little I know about it. I never fucking saw it. Which I've watched two times was. when I was over at one of my friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. It always looked a little bit weird to me. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's pretty weird. <laughs> It's one of these ones I think I've I just, I've never gone back and watched it, but it feels like something that I would probably watch as a kid because I was a kid. But if I watch it now, I probably would think, oh "My God, why did I watch this?" Well, yeah. um, spoilers, but William said he actually rather enjoyed it. <laughs> ah, so I don't know how it holds up. I haven't rewatched it either, but <laughs> hmm. I think I'm just thinking that because it's not like Digimon. <laughs> yeah. It's a high bar. <laughs> By her. Yes. By her. Right. Um, on the biscuit front, uh, I've yes. got... Hang on, let me figure out what this link is like. I don't know whether I've linked the direct video or not. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... Oh, no. Um, so, you know, in Gen 4, you could play little tunes on the badges because each badge had a different note oh yeah oh yeah you can polish them up yeah yeah this guy has played the route 201 theme on the gym badges oh no way <laughs> way i love when he's playing it you just you just hear him polish it every now and then with <laughs> <sighs> okay that's pretty sad <laughs> i wonder how long that took him figure well, out three but well, to be fair if you knew if you if you knew what notes each one was yeah. yeah yeah if you're just a music maestro you're gonna know that sort of thing <laughs> maestro get... sheet yeah. music yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that was no, that was my, awesome. my only biscuit oh. um oh I, I appreciate that biscuit. actually i've got like it's not really oh. a minor it's like a minor biscuit sort of like oh. a i don't know a crumb oh. of a rich tea or something <laughs> um it's just because like, obviously like lockdown's been on and people have been had to like queue up outside supermarkets and everything. And I hadn't experienced uh, yeah. any of this yet until last weekend when I had to queue up for half an hour outside Lidl before I could get <sighs> in. But oh that was because 
I'm so rarely up and about early on a Sunday. I it didn't even cross my mind that I might be there before the shop opened. That I arrived half an oh, hour no. before it opened. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and how did that turn out? Well, it was this nice sunny day, so I just thought I got nothing better to do. I've got my podcasts on my phone. I'll just stand there and listen to them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you are. Right. Lockdown stories. Lockdown story time. But of course, the lockdown's finishing now because the, uh, the oh, yeah. COVID nineteen pandemic has completely been completely eradicated. <laughs> oh yeah, nothing left. Nothing left at all. It's all fine. It's all good. Uh, Everything it... is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I mean, this ain't gonna mean more much to people listening, but I I made a helmet. <laughs> you made a helmet. It's okay. Going to... <laughs> a helmet for my helmet. Um, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh wow. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. It's not as good as I'd hoped, but yeah, it's alright. What'd you make it out of card? Yeah, pa- paper mache. Oh wow. card. Shit, dude, that looks amazing. Tiny. I'm genuinely yeah. impressed by that. <laughs> Makes my helmet I'm making it look like shit. <laughs> making mine out of EVA foam. Fucking hell. I was, friend, see, I was going to try and get foam and make it out of that, but I thought this one had so many like ridges and points. Yeah, no, that like that would be easier to do out of card. Yeah, hmm. I mean, obviously, that for the reference that would be crap. That's like spot on. Can you, How for the benefit of the, for the benefit of the tape, can you say what it is? <laughs> oh, a Kamen Rider X Aid helmet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I've still got to do like touch ups with paint. But, mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you like? Is it just like spray paint on there at the moment, or? No, uh, well, uh, not not spray paint. It's um, acrylic. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. You know about weathering, right? Where you sort of take a sand bit of sandpaper, but sort of like loose, not the like hard sandpaper to find. No, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend. Oh. Weathering is uh, a technique used for by model makers and things like that. So I like for I'm sure Christian knows a little bit about this for from Warhammer and things like that. Uh so you get some black paint or black mixed with a little bit of brown, water it down a lot so it's almost like ink, wipe okay. it on. So like paint like properly like slosh it on so it goes down into all the recesses and then wipe away most of it so it's just left <gasps> in the dark bits it'll add sort of a, a lot of depth and tone to it and make the recesses look even deeper so it gives it a lot more depth and, okay. and style non oil it'll, it'll, yeah non oil essentially it, it'll take it from looking like um a, a cardboard prop into looking like an actual helmet you, you okay. get what i mean Okay. Like it, it might be worth experimenting with it on a on like a scrap couple of bits just so you can get the right idea yeah. of it down. But there's not really a wrong way to do it, if you know what I mean. Okay. It's very easy to go overboard with because you know I'll just like a little bit more here, a little bit more there, and stuff like that. But on the whole, it's it's possible to like so like looking at the other picture, you can sort of see like where there's like the the shadows and stuff like that. So like in the mm-hmm. in the recess of the mouth bit there, like you can put like a little bit in there and then sort of wipe that way. So it would gather in the lower parts to give it the impression of shadow and depth. Okay. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I reckon that will take that because like, it looks like amazing as it in, is. But at least I've got the podcast to remind me about. Yeah. Like it looks amazing as it is, and I think like doing the wedding will take it like to the next level up. I mean, obviously, if I had like eight hundred odd quid, I'd <laughs> actually buy it. <laughs> oh wow! But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but what's the point in buying it when Japan. you can make it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Japan! In Japan's That's in capital it. letters. No, uh, Japan. <laughs> um, <laughs> good job then, Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, I'm genuinely impressed with that, dude. Well done. Oh, cheers. <laughs> now I just got I got to make the rest of it because you've got like body armor and shit as well. Ah, yeah. that's gonna be the fun bit. Next time you see you, it'd be like fucking the Mandalorian. You'll be there. <laughs> well, <laughs> you <laughs> say that <laughs> <laughs> because the helmet I'm making at the moment. Oh, yeah. oh shit! <laughs> well, that's the body armor. <laughs> oh wow, that's gonna be. That's going to be interesting to do. Hang on. With a giant version of his head on the back like a shield. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, because oh, that's the one I'm working on at the moment. It's uh, not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a scroll saw arriving tomorrow, so I can do like 40 degree, 40 degree bevels to go on the inner cheek bits. That's uh. difficult, but but so I just want to say, also, technically, your helmet is better. Uh, and factually, because I'm see- doing mine from a, I'm doing mine from a pattern. You're doing yours freehand. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> so in terms of which is more impressive, yours by a million miles. Like, I am... Like, any anybody can follow a pattern. It takes... I will say in my picture, it's a bit it. blocky, but if I put it on my head and squash the, like, cheek bits down, it has that more of an angular shape. Yeah, but you can definitely tell that it's that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like... I'm genuinely impressed, dude. <laughs> I was always the art, the art attack. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Even yeah. in school. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, that's what I'm going to have to build for the back as well. Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. What did you use for the um, for the eyes? The Oh, it's um, like a mesh. Oh, just, like a, just a mesh. Oh. Um, nice. I can't remember what it was called exactly. He can't look up. Um, uh, <laughs> Who? <laughs> this oh. the picture you just put. It, it, so uh, the back of his head, the back of his head, uh, it, his face is essentially the back of his of his of his armor. But he's got these like three like three or four oh, pink spikes coming out the top of it, and that sort of interacts with the back of his head. So if he tries to look back, he just stab himself in the back of the head with his own hair. That's what the I'm helmet's for. Yeah, true. Attention. Yeah, <laughs> I've not paid paid attention to um <laughs> him looking up in the show, but yeah, now it, it, I it's sort of thing like. I'm actually this curious is... now. It's like, how does he look? Probably like the old Keaton Batman looking around with like his whole upper yeah. Arm yeah. torso. Yeah. <laughs> or he they just, just arches his back mm. to look up rather than. Yeah. Or he's not wearing the thing on his back in shots where he's looking up. Could also uh, be it. That is entirely possible. Um, that makes a lot more like sense. Like when, and... like in shows where someone's got a scabbard on their back. And they're just in one shot. They start pulling the sword out, and in the next shot, it's all the way out because you never see them pulling it out because you actually can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I literally just got. It's called white mesh fabric. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Hmm. And I just, I just knew of it because I had a Spider-Man mask with that same sort of thing for the eyes. Spider-Man. Oh, mask. nice. And that's what I always remembered. <laughs> yeah, she just took inspiration. You were... hmm. <laughs> oh. Excellent. You're giving me ideas now. <laughs> I dears. Mm. I mean, yeah. The the only thing I am going to have to refrain from having to try and make is the level one form of X aid, which I'm gonna try and find it. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> God, you don't know the level one form of X aid? Go. No, no. <laughs> oh, the level one form. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. I'm thinking about the level three form. Uh, Ooh, silly uh, me. There is a level three form. <laughs> there isn't. Oh, what is? Hmm. Because I think I feel like an idiot. There was like a weird. There's weird jumps between levels. It there's like one and two, and then it goes to like five, and then. <laughs> what digivolution? And then it went to like X. <laughs> it's level one. <laughs> it's like a chibi it's version. A ch- it, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> yeah, say it's yeah. a chibi. His face is the size of his chest, but the face is what's on the back of the le- the next level. <laughs> oh, so it like it's oh. it's a bit like a transformer yeah. where it sort of all breaks apart, and the skinny version breaks out of the armor of the. F- Big version, just like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a chess person. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. of um, One Punch Man, where he 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 punches like this like galactic tyrant, and all his armor, the, all the guy that he's punched, all his armor falls off, and he just goes, "Ah, you've broken this armor that was sealing in my unbeatable power. <laughs> now I'm unstoppable." <laughs> he just, goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch One Punch Man. It is good. It is. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's on. It's on my list. <laughs> it's good. 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 Right. Good. 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 Um, good. Right. So that I think oh. that, that, that I think that's everything. I think it's everything. Yeah. Um, I might have nothing else to add. I think it's everything. So uh, if you've en- if you've enjoyed any of that shite, 
Uh, <laughs> Why? Don't forget, What's the matter with you? <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, subscribe. yeah, diddle, 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 the, diddle the, the ding dangs. Um, diddle the ding dangs. Um, diddle ding dang ding dang dongs. If you think it's worth money, you can like give money on Patreon and stuff. And but make sure you you say that it's for an audible because otherwise I'll just keep it all. <laughs> uh, um, what else can we do? Uh, you guys are pheasant films and TS reactions on the yes. YouTube. Yeah, I'm invisible. I tower. will act for uploading something at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really should. But in the meantime, you can watch almost daily EU4 videos and streams on Twitch, and also enough Digimon World to drive two men permanently insane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, returning. Ah, but we'll talk about uh, that in a moment, outside oh. the episode. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> but that's it. <coughs> Bye. Ah, right. Right.